everyone, welcome back to my Loom Kitchen and today I'll be showing you how to make this strawberry textured loom pouch. It closes like a drawstring so you can just pull to tight end to close or stretch to open it up. This is pretty simple to make. If you click on the link under this video, it should take you to the recipe page where you can download the pattern so you can use it as we go along. So if you could check that out grab the pattern, come back, and let's begin. The first item that we can pre-make before we begin is a strawberry seed. So you take two of your seed colors, wrap it around your hook three times, then you take a single strawberry colored band, and pull it through. We will be needing 34 seed attachments for this pouch. For your leaf attachment, you can use one shade of green or mixed shades of green, really up to you. You take one shade one band of one shade, wrap it around your hook three times. Then you take two bands, pull it through. Then on one end, you're going to take another two bands and pull it through one side. Then put your hook through that other side and you're going to pull another two bands through. Then finally you take one band and pull that through. And that is your leaf attachment. You'll be needing 58 pieces for this little leaf attachment. So if you could make 58 pieces ahead of time and set that aside, we'll get back to it later. The next thing we have to pre-make is the bracelet handle for our pouch. And here I just made a single chain out of single bands. Single bands doubled onto itself. You can make it double bands or any type of bracelet you want. I made mine around 12 inches long, but you can have yours longer if you want a longer handle. It's completely up to you. So make a bracelet for the handle and set that aside. We'll get back to that later. So let's start with our pouch and we're going to be using our regular loom. If you could remove your center row and have the remaining two rows facing on opposite directions. If you look at the pattern, we're going to start with the columns, column D to column I. And columns are actually the spaces in between pegs and I've marked my loom so it'll be easier to follow. So we're going to be working from D to here, to letter I. I'm going to mark the end pegs. Now this entire bag is made out of single bands. So from these pegs, take single bands, I'm just going to X that all the way across.
So this is our base, and now we go to row 1. And row 1 is just single red bands. Pick up all the lower bands and bring it up and over. Now row 2, exactly the same single bands Now if you look at row 3, we're now going to extend it, so we're going to move down to column C on the left and column J on the right. So you single bands, exit out here, and one straight to the other side. Exit here and one straight here. Now, if you look at row three, there are two seats that go on it. So there's one seat that goes on row F, on column F. So I'm going to attach my seat there, and another seat that goes the column J I'm going to do that to the other side as well Now you fill up the rest of the rows with single bands. Now just lift all the lower bands up and over. Now row 4 is a plain single band row.
then you lift all the lower bands up and over again Now row 5 extends one more column on each side. And row 5 is just a single, single band row again. Lift all the bands up and over. Row 6 has two seeds on row column D. So I'm going to add that here. And column H. I'm going to add the seeds on the other side as well. Now fill in the gaps with single strawberry colored bands. Now lift all the lower bands up and over again. Now we're in row 7 and we are going to extend one last time so it's extended on the sides
Now, row 7 all the way up to row 18. If you look at the pattern, it's pretty simple to understand. You add your seats on the spaces where those yellow squares are. And everything else is just placing single red bands. Now you can pause your video, finish up this row 7 all the way up to row 18 following the pattern guide. Unpause when you're done and we'll resume from there. We're on row 19 and if you notice, if you look at your pattern, there are some areas where with the green and some with the red. Now we're going to place our pre-made leaves on columns A, J, K, L, as well as the sides. Then the areas where the strawberry portion is, we're just going to lay single red bats. Now we're just going to lift all the lower bands up and over. Now on row 20, row 20 has green and red areas, but instead of placing our pre-made leaves, this time we're just going to place single green bands on those indicated areas. So that's A, B, H, I, J, K, and L, as well as the sides. And we fill up the rest with the red bands. Now lay that down. and lift all the lower bands up and over.
on row 21, you can see there's one strawberry seed area. So we take our last strawberry seed and we place that on column E. And there's only one area, which is right beside the strawberry seed, that has the strawberry colored band. So just place your single red band there. Now we're going to fill the rest of the spaces with our pre-made leaves. Now we're going to lift all the lower bands again up and over. Row 22 is a green area, but not a textured one. So we're just going to lay single green bands all around the pegs. And after laying all of that down, we're just going to lift the lower bands up and over again. We're now on row 23, and this is our last textured row. So we're just going to take the rest of our pre-made leaves and lay that all around the pegs. Now let's just lift all the bands up and over again. Now in row 24 is our last row. We're just going to lay single green bands all around the 24 pegs. And after laying that down, we're just going to lift all the lower bands up and over.
So we're ready to close this. You can use any type of bracelet design that you want. Now you're just going to go through your first peg and pull that bracelet through. Not to the very end, you have to leave some space at the end. Then remove that off the peg. Next peg, put that same bracelet through. Then remove the bands off the peg. Continue doing that until you've weaved that bracelet handle all throughout. So after we're done weaving the bracelet handle through the pegs, we're going to remove it from the loom. And we're going to... Next thing we have to do is tie the bracelet ends together. So we take both ends of our bracelet, put your hook through one end, and pull that band that you used to tie off your bracelet through the other end so we can tie this off in a slip knot. Then you can hide the excess of that band around the handle portion. Now we have to turn the pouch inside out. Take your hook and bring out the seeds. Pull out the leaves if they're stuck inside. Then adjust your drawstring. And that's it. So I hope you like it. Enjoy your textured strawberry loom pouch.